hello everyone welcome back to my little channel how's everybody doing so today we are going to be doing a fun og thing i don't know what year this was popping in but i remember when i started doing nails this was something that i would kind of wear so this is like 10 years ago um we're doing some zebra cheetah niches vibes with a little bit of black and pink because I feel like that combination is just perfect. Originally, I was like, I'm just going to do zebra. I, I asked Patrick, should I do zebra or cheetah? And he's like, zebra. I'm like, okay. But then when I got to this nail, I was like, you know what? It needs a little bit of cheetah in there. <laughs> I love. Actually, it's considered leopard print, but I like to say cheetah. Um, Just in case somebody's going to correct me. I know, I know, but I always say cheetah. So this is a glitter pink from this distance. Like, I don't know if I'm just blind because I don't have my glasses on. But you can tell it's glitter, which was kind of perfect, I guess. Um, but that little sparkle comes through. Back in the day, I don't think I really had much glitter. So I feel like most of the designs were done with just solid color. So I was trying to find a color that would not be like too chunky. Or too like too too glittery because then I feel like the design wouldn't really look the same as one that I created years ago. This is definitely not identical as the one from before, but I wanted to kind of um, make it look similar but not the same the same. So this pink color is called Barbie. Um, we've had it before on the website, and I'm going to bring it back. Because let me tell you, it is so beautiful. It has like a blue undertone uh, as far as the glitter. So the acrylic, I'm just trying to place it in different little areas. And it does not have to be perfect. Well, at least not, not for this design. Because I'm going to be adding some bling bling um, across the lines where they intersect. Um, so that is why it's not necessary. But if you do happen to recreate it on a client or on yourself and you don't really want bling, then I recommend to do it a little bit more perfect as far as like the lines to be a little bit more crisp. But I feel like it's not that big of a deal because you could always cover it up with, excuse me, with the animal print. So raise your hand if you are a zebra print lover. Um, put a little heart in the comments if you're a cheetah lover. Don't forget to subscribe to my little channel if you're new or you've been here for a few times and you still don't subscribe to my girlfriend. What's going on? I was looking at my insights or I don't know, my dashboard on YouTube and Half of you guys that keep coming back are not subscribed. Why? What's going on? You guys don't like me? You just want to come see my little videos but not be a part of my family? No, no entiendo. <coughs> Lenny. Um, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe, honey. Um, so you could get notifications. I'm not sure if you're supposed to turn on the little bell or what, but girlfriend... Go push that little bell so you don't miss none of these little videos. And you could be one of the first ones to be watching. And I really enjoy when people leave me little comments. So I know some people don't comment. Like sometimes when I watch videos, I just give everybody a like. But sometimes I don't really comment. So I understand. But n please leave me a comment of what your favorite part of the nail is. Or how your day is going. I really enjoy reading them. So I'm going to continue to do the same thing for the rest of the nails. On the thumb, I actually didn't do like the little, it's not blocking, but that's what we're going to call it. I ended up doing like an ombre type of thing. It wasn't my favorite nail, but I was running out of ideas. And I did this at night, so I was trying to go to sleep already. Um, For the ring finger, I was like, okay, I'm going to give this nail a little twist of something we would wear now in 2022 no wait what year are we in i don't know <laughs> i think it's 2021 but i forgot so i'm just gonna be doing a french and you'll see the little design i come up with normally i um 
I filed the little Frenchie to be more perfect, more crisp. But for my fake hand, I started to not file it anymore because um, she she don't care if it's popping. And plus, most of the time, I end up covering it. I I already know myself. Like I do a French, but then I put something on top and Malio Verga in French. You know, like you, you can't even tell that she was French once upon a time. But the um the idea was there. Okay, so I'm so sad because I did a live um, two days ago for my new black nails. And I don't know if I jinxed myself or what the hell, but I was saying like, oh my God, I hope I could save this live. Because somebody was asking me, are you going to save it? And I'm like, girl, I always save them and then I put them on YouTube. So I was like, hopefully I could save it. And I was able to save it to my phone but I feel like the the video was just too long that it didn't play. So when I was trying to crop it so I could put it on YouTube, it would freeze and the app would close. And then it would just play up to like 20 seconds and that's it. And I'm like, what the hell, man? It was such a good live. If you were on the live, comment below and tell us, hey, girl. That shit was so funny. It was popping. I don't know. I had so much fun. But then again, we were on there for like three and a half hours. So I could see how that shit was long, long. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and use my light gold gel painting um, to do some little dots. I'm using our new um, dotting tool. This will be available um, tomorrow. I can't put it today. Because I'm going to work, so I'm going to be driving my ass to L.A. I, I came up with these two specific sizes for dotting tools because I feel like you always need a big fat one to make dots or spots or whatever you're making. And then you need a little one for little specific areas. Um, so I, I really had um, animal print in mind because I always use a dotting tool for this. And, um, I found myself that the bigger one just doesn't do finer, finer details. So I was like, you know what? I need one that's super, super thin. And then maybe you could even draw with this shit. I don't know, like tag on the nail, nothing, no shit. Um, so pretty much I cured the gold in the lamp and then I'm over here going around the little spots. My little thing is I do three little random spots. And I try to like wiggle them, squiggle them or whatever so they're not straight, straight. And every little circle, in every circle dot, I put three, but they never connect. And then I go in randomly in the spaces where there's nothing and put little dots. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because um, it looks better when it's not like just a dot, you know? So, right here next is the Zebra Licious. Okay. So, I'm using the same black gel painting from zulaysnails.bickertail.com and our liner brush. This liner brush comes with two lengths of hair. I believe this is a shorter end, but it does have a longer one too. Um, I felt that the longer one will be too much hair and my line wouldn't come out that wiggly. I don't know. I'm, I don't really do too much drawing, so I'm still learning, but this size hair was perfect for me. Um, the trick with the zebra print that I find is making the little lines squiggly, okay? And towards the end, you kind of, um, lift it off the nail so that it gets thin and you go opposite directions. So just watch again, squiggle, squiggle, like un pelito, you know, and then you go the opposite direction and see how the tip of it is always the thinnest i don't know i just feel like that'd be a vibe and it looks so sexy but it's up to you whatever you prefer um the more that you do this you'll start to get the hang of <clears throat> where else you need the little the little linea um so now I'm going to talk a little bit in Spanish. Porque pobrecitas las que no hablan en inglés. Um, so, ¿cómo están? 
Um, les quise grabar una florecita porque el video del vivo que hice en el Instagram eh, se me borró. Um, so right here I decided to include a 3D rose for you guys because I did them on my live the other day and it got it got erased because I erased the video now because it did not play more than 20 whatever seconds. So I put acetone in my monomer. Le puse acetone a mi monomero para que se seque el acrílico más rápido. Así no batalle tanto con los pétalos esperando que se sequen. So if you put a, a few drops of acetone in your monomer, um, your acrylic will dry a lot faster. So you don't have to be waiting for it to dry because 3D does take a long time to... Um, to dry sometimes and one flower could take up to fucking five minutes ain't nobody got time like that to be waiting mm -mm. especially when you got a whole garden to do like my ring nail like a girl that's gonna take a whole eternity so you have to make sure that your petals on the bottom are fully dry before you go into your next little layer so i started with three petals on the bottom and then I'm going in with my second little layer and the petals get smaller. <clears throat> if your acrylic on the bottom is not dry, you're going to have a pancake and there's not going to be a 3D, a 3D, a third dimensional petal or nothing like that. So, cuando están haciendo tercera dimensión, asegúrense que la base de la flor Los tres pétalos que hice primero estén completamente secos antes de que sigan a los otros dos pétalitos porque luego van a parecer pancakes las flores y no van a estar 3D. Y aquí les voy a enseñar cómo hago mis little leaves. Um, no más como un pétalo regular. Y ay, salió tan bonita esta uña. I wanted to do another flower, but I was like, girl... This scent ain't como la flor, okay? It is a zebra-licious, cheetah-licious set with some bling bling. So, next, le voy a poner bling bling y unos balines. Estos balines son nuevos. So, son a la mitad. If you ever struggled with the metal beads, bitch, guess what? I got you, girlfriend. I have some that are flat okay because girl those little fucking balls sometimes be rolling around they don't want to stay or they fall off the nail fast so we got some that are half they're cut in half so it's like half a ball you know um we have them available in gold we have three sizes i believe um silver and like rose gold so check it out on our website I'm going to leave information of the items in the description. But if for whatever reason, I don't happen to put them all because I forget sometimes. Um, you could just look them under like new items because they're fairly new. So, ¿qué tal? ¿Le está gustando las uñas? Okay. Um, should I try to make a um, video in Spanish and one in English like the same thing? Or are you guys okay? Las que no saben inglés, ¿sí me entienden cuando hablo lo que estoy diciendo? O debería de intentar hacer un video completamente en español y uno en, en inglés. Así del mismo video, pero en diferente idioma. I don't know. I think that would be kind of funny. Because mi español como que... Sí, sí hablo español bien, pero como que cuando quiero explicar cosas se me va el rollo. Por eso no hablo tanto en español. So I was just saying that I ain't the best translator from English to Spanish. Like, bitch, yes, I'm Mexican and shit. But translating is just a whole different thing. Like, girl, it's easy to say bad words sometimes. But when you actually got to think, like, how do you say this? Right on the spot is kind of hard. So pretty much I'm just going to continue to do this to the rest of the nails. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and add some top coat. Again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a little thumbs up and a little comment <clears throat> answering um, 
what your favorite is cheetah or zebra and also if you have not entered my giveaway on my last video make sure to go and do that and follow directions please because i seen all these comments i don't even got no ig name so that's part of the entry you have to answer the question and um put your instagram so if you do win um i can find you Okay, so go look for that video and enter because I'm going to be picking a winner sometime next week. Good luck, everybody. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, this bitch got to go to work. And hopefully I could upload this pronto. So this is the final look. Top coat and on. Yes, girl. I'll see you next time. Bye.